Yo, what's going on guys? It's Max. Welcome back to another show, another episode, another tier maker video. So today we'll be uh, ranking uh, the Call of Duties of all time, see uh, where they fall. I already made my list ahead of time. I'm gonna do this tier list while I eat my uh, Quest protein cookie. I'm not a sponsor. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have a great time. Let's begin. So as we're on the list. Okay. Now, I haven't played the first three Call of Duties. And whatever this is. Looks like some, some um, Asian handwriting. I don't know what it is, but I haven't played these um, four, but I've played everything else. So let's begin. Remember guys, um, before we do start, if you want to support me, go uh, go check out my Patreon account. Um, it will mean a lot. Sub subscription starts from uh, $3, going all the way up to 50 for the VIP membership. You get access to, to the Discord and um, exclusive uh, videos on it, music reactions. Also, um, I'm pretty sure the uh, the legend membership and above gets access to um, blocked videos on YouTube. So my videos that got blocked, unfortunately, some of the music reactions, I will be posting them for legend and VIPs only. Uh, and VIPs get uh, to choose to choose uh, one video a month that I will try to react to. Um, and yeah. Also, you got the higher the tier, the higher the percentage you get off of merch when it drops. But anyways, also remember to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Everything is down in the description below. But anyways, let's get back into it. So, COD 4, Modern Warfare. And we're gonna take the cookie out of the wrapper. Anyways, but COD 4, Modern Warfare. Um, overall, one of the best campaigns in COD history. Um, the multiplayer was good. Everything was pretty good. I enjoyed it myself. On I think COD Four is a S S two COD. If you disagree, I don't know what you played before, but I think this is an S tier. I wouldn't say it's S plus. Because I have a game that is S plus in this list, that's why I made the category. But I think COD Four falls in the S tier category, hundred percent. As we move on to COD Advanced Warfare, not everybody enjoyed it. I'm gonna say I did not mind the campaign. I liked campaigns for every COD here, or for the ones that had a campaign. I love campaign and CODs. It gives me something to do when the game launches when I don't want to go sweat in multiplayer yet. Multiplayer wise, not that fun. Um, I didn't play much multiplayer because the game was paid to win, which kind of ruined it for me. So I think it falls. Campaign wise, I would say like B tier or A even. Multiplayer wise, Exo Zombies. Am I might think of right? Yeah, Exo Zombies, C tier. Actually, I'm, camp, I'm putting it in D tier. I think it was not that great for multiplayer wise. We're just going to rate all these games multiplayer wise. As we move, in to, move on to Black Ops 3, worst campaign, arguably, in all the CODs. Um, zombies, S plus tier. Multiplayer. I think Black Ops 3 was a good jetpack multiplayer game. I think it deserved the uh, B tier. We're not gonna go. I think A is too high for it. I'd rather rank it too low than too high. So I think Black Ops 3 falls into the B tier. I had a lot of fun on it. it had one of the best camos and stuff, um, which I really enjoyed. As we move on to Black Ops 4, 
Hmm. Where do I want to put this? Multiplayer wise, it wasn't bad. I enjoy Black Ops 4. That was my that was the first Call of Duty that I actually got Dark Matter on. Which is pretty great. So I I like the multiplayer. Obviously no campaign. That was a minus. The zombies, there's only like two good maps. Nine and uh Ancient Evil. Multiplayer, I think it's, uh, I think it's, I, I love the boots on the ground aspect of it. Um, it's either, I, I think it's, we're going to put a B tier. We're going to put a B. Because I don't want to go uh, too far on it. It's too high. Cold War. Okay. Now here's the thing. Cold War, multiplayer, C tier, C tier uh, multiplayer game. Zombies, I like the zombies on it. Zombies are really, really good. The new map, Marjor Toten, is just amazing. I like what they did with Outbreak, the first open world zombies experience. Multiplayer wise, I, I don't, I like, what I like about Cold War is if you're a zombies player, and let's see one Dark Matter, you can get Dark Ether. They have their own special camo on zombies, which I got. Let's say um, if you didn't get a chance to get a gun in the Battle Pass last season, and you're not a multi uh, player, and you don't, and like um, I'm like stumbling my words here, and you don't play multiplayer, you can do the challenges for that gun in zombies, which is I love what they did with that, I and mean, I really hope they do that for every single COD moving on. But overall, I think it's a C tier. So many people are just sweats on this game. There's a lot of cheating. And uh, yeah, not with it. I played a lot of Cold War, but not the best. Black Ops 2. Hmm. I remember when I first got Black Ops 2, I was in... When did the game release? How old was I? Let's see, let's see how old I was. Came out in 2012. Okay. So 2012. I was very young. I was pretty young. Um, S plus. I remember I was young and I remember uh, on Black Ops 2 when everyone was doing the trick shots and stuff, and I used I watched that, and I tried to go for them. The mul the multiplayer was just one of the best. The campaign was one of the best. It was just amazing. Black Ops 2 was an incredible game, one of the best in history, and uh, so far where they're going with the, our future CODs, it's it, it's not gonna ever beat this game. Moving on. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Call you Black Ops. Hmm. Now here's the thing. I'm not gonna rank this anything lower than a than A. Or S. Hmm. It's kind of difficult. I was not a big Call of Duty Black Ops guy. I don't know why. But I wasn't. I remember Call of Duty Black Ops. I think I only played the multiplayer a couple times. I wasn't really big, big like into multiplayer and Black Ops. I played in COD 4. But then when Black Ops came out, I was just not there. I was not there for it. I think I put an A tier. I don't know why I wasn't there. I just I didn't play multiplayer. It just I think I took a break. I think I got bored. 
ghosts. <laughs> I like the campaign. Extension zombies were not good. Multiplayer. C tier. I think I like the multiplayer and ghost better than advanced warfare. Agreed? Agreed. And there's nothing really can really say. I remember um, it was just, it was when I first got the game, it was really, really fun. Like I was obsessed with it. But then I started playing more and more and more. It just started like, I, I started realizing how much I didn't like the multiplayer. Now it wasn't bad, but it just, it just wasn't my style back then. And um, yeah. Infinite Warfare. Uh, here we go. So Infinite Warfare. D tier game. The multiplayer wasn't good at all. The campaign wasn't that good. The zombies only had one good map. And then that's it. It just went downhill. D tier. I played a lot of Infinite Warfare when it first came out. I played a lot, a lot of it. I got a on release date. I waited and at a GameStop and I bought it as soon as it was available. And it was a disappointment. It was a disappointment. Moving on. <laughs> Call of Duty Mobile. I like the idea, and I think they did a very, very, very good job. Call of Duty Mobile is a fun game. It's not hard. It's it's like beginner level, and it's good. I like the um, the battle royale. I used to play that a lot when it first came out, when I was like bored. And I don't think I lost a single match of battle royale in this game, because it wasn't hard. Um, obviously, probably half the lobby was like bots. People weren't used to the whole mobile controls, but I was like popping off. Same as multiplayer. It was a very good take. I think I'll put an A tier. It's a good like, I don't think it's like good to like compare it to any of these games, but like in its own category, I think it's going to go A tier. Now, what am I seeing here? Oh, okay. So this is the original. This is the rem the campaign remastered. I mean, the campaign is great. I'm gonna put an S plus tier. Uh, Modern Warfare Two is my favorite campaign. Um, ever. I think it goes above Black Ops Two for. Now we might as well rate the actual. I think it's better than Black Ops Two. Modern Warfare Two is my favorite um, Call of Duty game ever. It was just amazing. I remember the uh, the AA twelve. And everything like that, dude. I, I got my first nuclear in Modern Warfare 2 when I was very young. I re, I don't know how much how many times I replayed the campaign in this game. It was just amazing. The OG Spec Ops were so good. It was just amazing. Favela, the maps. Oh my god, I was popping off when I was younger. We might as well go do this one. I'm just gonna raid the same, cause it's the same game, just better graphics. Modern Warfare 2019. <sighs> now, hear me out. This is my own opinion. The campaign. Mwah. The multiplayer. Spec Ops, trash. The multiplayer. The multiplayer was not it for me. There were so many sweaty people. There were just literally people with no lives. It just wasn't my type of game. I just, the movement and everything in it, I just didn't like. I don't know what it was, but I just, I wasn't there. <laughs> that game was not it for me. A lot of people enjoyed it but the multiplayer just 
It was just pain. That's all I had to say, just pain. Moving on. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Another A tier game. I think that Modern Warfare 2 was a good, uh, it was a fun experience. The campaign was good. I enjoyed the multiplayer a lot. Um, it was, yeah, it was just a fun game. I, I enjoyed it a lot, um, obviously. It was a good, it was a good experience. I remember coming home from school and playing this game, and it was just, it's great. Once again, I was very young. I did not know what I was doing. But, you know, that wasn't terrible. This game, I was younger and I was popping off. This game, I don't know what happened. Call of Duty Warzone. Now, as you guys know right now, Warzone, it's in its dying, st it, not in its dying, sorry. And it's like most unfun state right now. There's so many cheaters. There's no anti-cheat. Right now, if I were to rate it like right now, it would be a D tier. Because nobody's like, ex like nobody like really hops on wars. I'm like, oh wow, I'm excited to play. Let's play against cheaters every single lobby. You know what I'm saying? Especially like if you're on PC. And it's cross-play as well. Um, so controllers, the same thing. Um, I think Warzone is where really carried Modern Warfare. Like if I think Warzone as a whole is a battle royale is a tier. I think it's it's um like I know that Black Hat was a thing and stuff. That's when like I played, but Warzone is just it, it carried. It really carried Modern Warfare to what it is now, and um yeah, I played a little bit of uh Warzone, and then I stopped because it wasn't it was just not fun anymore. Um. And yeah, as you want to Call of Duty World at War, S tier, zombies, Mwah. multiplayer, Mwah. so good, so good. World at War is one of the best games out that was out. the The multiplayer was incredible. The zombies experience was incredible. Just everything about the game was good. It was really, really, really fun, and I liked it a lot. I don't think they could have done anything to make it better. I think it was perfect, and I think it was just a fun game. It was a good World at War experience. And last but not least, we got, let me turn on the right. Call of Duty World War II. <laughs> now campaign I liked it multiplayer wasn't bad but I didn't enjoy it I don't know what it was I just Except Gustav Cannon. That was the only map that I actually enjoyed. Zombies, the, the, only, the only the first map was good. I did the Easter egg on it, and the rest, terrible. Also, uh, wait. Uh, C tier. Actually, I'll go B. Also, what I like what they did with 2019 Modern Warfare and Cold War is free content. Black Ops, you had to like pay for the season pass and like Infinite Warfare season pass. That was terrible. So much extra money wasted on like bad content if there was one. Like I wasted my season pass money, dude, on Infinite Warfare. The only good map was the free one that you get first. That's it. The rest were trash. Black Ops 3, best zombies, but it was just so much money. From Zombie Chronicles and all the uh, other DLCs, it just it was a lot. I remember it was like what, like fifteen dollars, like a DLC. Plus, Zombie Chronicles was like 
30, 35. So it was a bunch. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, uh, down in the description, you can go follow my Patreon. I'm not following my Patreon. You can go check it out. See if you're interested if you want to join. Um, it, it'll be very, very appreciated. It will make my day. And uh, also, go check out my Instagram and my Twitter. I have that link down in below. But as always, if you enjoyed, have a nice day. Thank you for staying. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.